I had an interesting case that has some learning points. That's why I thought to share it with you. This patient, as you can see from the 2D images, transesophageal echo, he had calcific aortic valve disease. His gradient was high, but there was also significant aortic regurgitation. Because he had renal impairment, he was referred for me to do transesophageal three-dimensional echocardiography to analyze the aortic root to give them all the dimensions for uh, the TAVI procedure. So from the short axis, we can see calcification of all the three leaflets. It's basically tri-leaflet valve. With 3D, you can see also significant thickening and calcification of all the cusps with reduced systolic opening. Now I'm looking from the LVOT. You can see a clear lump of calcium here with some tilting here. This lump of calcium at the base of the anterior leaflet so this is in the posterior part of the LVOT. Here I'm looking from the aorta, and if I flip over by 3D rotate, you can see this lump of calcification just at the posterior LVOT. Here, one of the learning points, the high gradient in this patient was not only due to aortic stenosis, because aortic stenosis turned out to be only moderate, 1.3, the aortic valve area. So the very big diastolic gap in the aortic valve causes severe aortic regurgitation contributed to the high gradient through this valve. I also used to use x a lot because by x you will know where you are cutting exactly. So here I'm cutting in the RCC and the NCC. In the proper long axis two-dimensional view, you will not be able to comment on this cusp. You will be able to say that this is the RCC, but you will not be able to say what is this. Here is the three-dimensional zoom acquisition, but I usually like to get the display of the two images. This is the one image display. The two images will allow me to know what is inside in the long axis in the short axis or the lateral plane, the elevation plane. So I will know if I analyze this volume later on, I'll be able to see the analysis or not. A lot of volumes here, what I'm doing now, if you see the difference between this volume, the analyst was not so clear here. So I manipulated the probe in and out in order to have a better view for the analyst. So before acquiring this, I know that I can see the analyst in this view. That's another view, also can see the short axis view and the left main uh, takeoff is here. So I can analyze this volume later on to see the left main height. And that comes with manipulation in and out. So you go for the long axis, acquire 3D zoom, but better to go for the, the two image, not the one image before acquisition, because you will know what you are going to acquire in the volume. It is a significant aortic regurgitation jet. It is anteriorly eccentric. This is live 3D mode of acquisition, not 3D zoom, live 3D starting from the short axis, and then just click live 3D. I got a very nice view for all the uh, cusps of the aortic valve with the left main take off as well. Live 3D wood color. One of the learning points is to be careful while interpreting these dropout artifacts at the basis of the aortic valve. The basis of the aortic valve thickness can reach down to 0.5 millimeters. So it's very thin. In a calcific valve like this, once you reduce the gain a little bit, you will have these dropout artifacts. But if you increase the gain, to get rid of these dropouts, you will actually hide the image uh, behind this brown signal of the blood intensity. So if you decrease down the gain, so now how, if, so if you decrease down the gain, now you have a better view for the valve, but you had a dropout artifact at the basis. Be careful, this is not a perforation. This is very common in aortic valve. In the same patient, if you don't want to go to the stomach, it is okay to go for the transthoracic approach to complement your transesophageal echo study. Here, I'm looking at the five chamber view to see the severe aortic regurgitation and the accelerated jet through the aortic valve and systole. Of course, pressure half time is less than 200. That's severe AR. This is one of the examples of aortic regurgitation jet that can be sampled easily in the five chamber view. Spectral doubler and get a very nice envelope for the aortic regurgitation jet and trace it and see if it is significant or not. From the 3D volume, as you can see, I start by the short axis and then mobilize my lines here till I get the left main and then I cut the left main by the red plane 
and on the other hand side I can see the left mean height and I can measure it. Sinus is also sinus to sinus and sinus to commissure. I give all these measurements for the interventionist. This is the LVOT, but I had to avoid this very significant depth of calcification within the LVOT and the same for the analyst. So this patient had combined aortic regurgitation severe and moderate aortic stenosis.